from the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About newspaper. This is Out and About Today, sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Happy 2016 and welcome to a brand new season of Out and About Today. I'm Brent Meredith. Last month we reminded you what a momentous year 2015 was and tonight we want to look into the future and share some things that need to be on your radar for the coming year. Pam will have some must attend event info and Chuck preview some films you'll want to catch and I'll start us out tonight with some of the news stories you're bound to hear debated time and time again maybe here and other places over the next 12 months. Let's welcome Pam Chuck and LGBT Chamber Executive Director Lisa Howe for our weekly buzz. Hello everyone. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Happy New Year. Great to see you. Happy New Year. I love I love an even year. I love an even year. Are you superstitious? No, I love no. an odd year, too. Okay. But nobody asked me. I love an even year. No, Happy New Year. Happy Same New to Year. You. Oh, gosh, it seems like we just said that to each other, right? I know. Really? Time flies they go fast. They, they do. What'd you, do that, what'd you do with that ugly sweater? <laughs> Did you wear that all month? You know, I hung it back up to take out in, in 12 months. I, I, don't know that I, I, have, I don't know that I can ever wear mine again now that I've been seen in it. I know. We gave you a hard time. Well, so I, I wanted to kind of start the show tonight, like I said, with some top stories that you know we're trying to look ahead so of course we can't we don't have a crystal ball but we know some things that are going to be debated and talked about this year um, a lot and one of those things is the Tennessee Marriage Act um, Chris Sanders was on here a few months ago to kind of give us a heads up on it and I know it's going to be it's going to be talked about it's going to be in the legislature again this year um, and I just wanted to, to kind of note real quick before we start talking about it Republican or I'm sorry Representative Mark Pody who is a Republican from Lebanon and Senator May Beavers Republican from Mount Juliet are the ones who filed this act um, and it defines marriage between one man and one woman as recognized by the people of Tennessee remains the law in Tennessee, regardless of any court decision. So what they're trying to do is supersede the Supreme Court decision, which we all know to be unconstitutional and a waste of time and effort, yada, yada, yada. So well, now that I've said all that, Pam, what do you think? <laughs> you know Let me tell you. I think it's wrong. Of course I do. And here's what I want to tell our viewers. I know we're going to talk about community events in my segment, in the next segment. But everybody needs to get involved in Tennessee Equality Project's Equality Day on the Hill. We're going to remind you of the date next segment. I can't, I don't remember if it's February or March. But that's how you get involved and you express your opinion because we need to stand up against this. And for those of our viewers who aren't up to date on all the legislation, get up, sign up, talk to your representatives and make a difference. It makes me so mad. All these legislation pieces, proposals you're going to read, it burns me up. It's bull and I don't like it. Well, and you're right. I mean, and even though we know it's bull and it's likely not constitutional, we still have to, you know, we you have to still we organize we and, 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 and you have to fight it and it costs yeah. and, and it's a, a waste of taxpayers' money to even fight this in any form. And the other thing that's interesting is that they did a poll, and the most recent poll that I saw was like 57% of Tennesseans support these things. But if you look at Tennessee, it's a very red state. We all know it that. Is, yeah. and, and, and very conservative in many areas. Um, but the fact is, it doesn't matter. And they keep trying to make this a political issue. It doesn't matter that 57% say they still support marriage between one man and one woman. This is the law of the land now. Right, but we all wish, uh, it is the law of the land, but we all wish those numbers were different, right? We don't like 60-40. Right. We, it, we want 9-1. Right, <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. So we've got to change that. We well, there's a, there's a business case for marriage equality, and the mm -hmm. chamber and our members are going to express that business case, but... You know, the cost before June 26, 2015, the cost to businesses uh, for inequality was estimated $1.4 billion. And when wow. you're talking about a state like Tennessee that has, and a city like Nashville that has new businesses relocating here and talent that you're trying to keep here or recruit to come here, and you're treating a group of people as second class citizens, those businesses are gonna say, no way, we can't keep our talent here. We can't acquire new talent, and we're not gonna relocate to your state if this is the kind of, of if, this is, if this is the way you treat your citizens. And that was billion with a B. Yeah. <laughs> $1.4 billion wow. was written in the marriage um, amicus brief that went to the Supreme Court, that that was the cost uh, at businesses in their human re relations department, their human resources, uh, just the cost of treating people different. Who gets benefits? Who's married? Who's not married? What state are they married in? What state are they not married in? It's just so if we can't get to their hearts and minds, we're going to get to their pocketbook. Exactly. And I mean, uh, but it's such a huge argument and an important point. So. Well, one thing that I did want to make a point too is that Governor Bill Haslam and the Tennessee Attorney General both said that they they didn't agree with the ruling, but right. that they would um, follow the Supreme Court. So you know, there's yeah, a, that's good. You know, kind of null and void already right there. Yeah. Um, we hey, could debate. The, oh, go no, ahead, Chuck. No, I was just going go to ahead. say, you know. 
Nashville is a progressive city, and I love that. And it just it makes the you know Nashville is what so many people move here because of. Hundred people a day. Exactly. Yeah. It, you know, and so to me that hurts the whole state when people you know are reacting the way that some of these are. Well, it's a branding problem for the state. It's mm -hmm. a branding problem for the state, for the city, and the other bills that you're going to read. It put it it reflect it reflects our brand. Right. It does, and, and, yep. and at least segue us nicely into the next topic. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but some trans issues. Um, we, we've talked a lot about it in, in 2015, and I just feel like this, this coming year there's a lot to, lot, lot to still talk about, of course. Um, so here locally we've got the Bathroom Harassment Act, and this is uh, Representative Hulsley. He's a freshman Republican from Kingsport, introduced this bill, and it's target primar targeted primarily at students, and of course it's about um, transgender and non-conforming students uh, uh, using particular bathrooms, and kind of the joke is, you know, do we care what's in their pants before they go in the bathroom? And then, of course, the Birth Certificate Fairness Act. Um, two things that are really big here. We've got about two minutes. What do you guys think? Oh, <laughs> it's unsafe for kids. It's mm -hmm. unsafe. Yes. Uh, for youth uh, not to be able to, uh, to have to worry about what bathroom to go to into and if they're breaking the law, and then for teachers to have to enforce this policy and law on them, it, it's it's unsafe. I'm scared about it. I really am too. I, I'm, I'm. It just Chuck. Well, I think again, it, they make it a political issue, and this. I mean, I don't know what it's going to take for our legislators to stop making these types of. of I know we only got about 30 seconds, but. I just, it, it just, it's infuriating. Pam, before we go. March 8th is um, the 11th Annual Equality Day on the Hill, uh, Tennessee Equality Project. We're going to talk about it again next Great time. way to end. Yeah. Need to go. Talk to your, talk to your legislators. Um, and we'll be right back with a look at some 2016 community events that you'll want to get on your calendars now. Stay with us.